Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be talking about fundamentals. Fundamentals that are found in old Budo, in old Jiu Jitsu, of course, Aikido as well, and in very early Judo Kata. And these are very well tailored and also very well explained in those Kata, yet um, we continue to have a debate on them. So, as you all know, Aikido is heavily criticized and for a good reason the fact that you cannot apply its martial principles people just simply think that they should be discarded well I personally say that this should not be the case also the methodology of Aikido in my opinion it should be someone very well versed in martial arts have sparred in order to fully grasp Aikido and then go into it so to my Aikido ka listeners, I tell you, spar in order to fully understand Aikido and also to the critics, I should say, please calm down and just listen. So now let's talk about this here. He's demonstrating that, you know, if you're tensed with your shoulders and really using the force of your arms, you won't really get anything. So much like cutting with the sword, the more your arms are relaxed, the more you will hear that whipping sound and the more your cut is effective and similar principle as applied uh, here. So as you can see, it's really about absorbing things and really let it flow, hence the name. So here he's explaining that do not just receive something and try to work with it, but rather make it pass, make it uh, flow in order to create the desired effect uh, which is the unbalancing and also which is the flow that you want to create in order to achieve the harmony and this is what Aikido is all about now is there a martial application to this a hundred percent and it's also explained in old judo so here Koichi Tohe Chidoka mind you explains that it's really about moving your entire body as a unit, uh, prancing almost, and really being comfortable in order to receive something and let it uh, pass or to work with. And that's key to Aikido. So now let's take a look at one of the fundamentals found in Ko Shiki no Kata called Mizu Nagare or flowing water. And here you see one is going with a direction of an attack straight he accepts it goes back in one unit and then takes them down either you annihilate the attack neutralize it or you work with it in order to destroy the uh, attacker or the assailant so let's take a look at it a bit in details this is in ko shiki no kata in on Kodokan's channel you can find a full video so he approaches forward energy looking to push look at the one grabbing the arm goes back a bit in order to accept it creates that unbalancing as he let it flow and then from there it takes little energy to take them down either to stop the attack and nullify it or to destroy that energy that's coming so let's see it from another angle so as he approaches he is creating that momentum and here you see the attack being absorbed and so the unbalancing is created so it's really about accepting things and then working with them much like a lot of things in life you really have to have this type of mentality in order to get through problems and things that are facing you because you cannot use always supreme force and that's crucial so and here you see pushes on the elbow and grabbing the hand much like a lot of techniques we see in judo today like seirai nage tayotoshi etc so let's see it one last time before we see competition application so He's really reaching now and then fully unbalanced and taken down. So without further ado, let's take a look at some 
competition examples. So you really have to think about someone's creating a movement and really completing it. And that's what will create an attack. So foot sweep like this is always a good example and hence why it's one of the most difficult things to do because of understanding the fundamentals. But here, you see the athlete in blue try to really overreach and then Fabio absorbs it, turns and continues the flow of the water as like the kata. And here is another example, a very strong reach around the back turned into a flow that Fabio used to score and win. And let's see it again. So here you see he just accepts it and then let it pass through. It's a great application of this principle. And again, um, to the Aikido crowd, in order to fully grasp it, you should spar and know what it is to accept something and then to work with it rather than just create the harmony. I understand maybe some who started maybe after retirement, after many things. And if you want to learn judo, uh, Aikido for the pleasure of it and the understanding and the philosophy, that's all fine and great. But for those who want to critique and want to fight, we should really understand that these principles were found in old combative arts and still being used today how many sumo matches have been won by simply letting them pass through and then they either fall or they uh, go out of the rink and that's uh, that's essentially the same thing or you can work with it and really drop down and take the arm and work with it but you know depending on the rules see what you can and can't do so like i said uh, a lot of people every time i talk about aikido people you see many saying it's a joke etc but we need to understand that this is a full mastery of the fundamentals and really explaining the ideal form of combat much like the kata in judo whether it is itsutsu or here you see koshiki no kata they're not you know fully form uh, forms of combat but they tend to teach you a lot of good and important uh, fundamentals that when we see them in competition, we're often surprised and amazed. And that just shows you how important they are and how amazing they are even after all these centuries. So if you have anything to add, please let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.